What's up everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this tutorial I'm going to show you an easy way to create a big head or magnified eyeball effect in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, leave a like below, and go follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter at Justin Odisho, and let's jump into it. So on the first clip, I'm going to be showing you how to make a big head and then I'll also show you the same technique on something smaller like just an eyeball. But the first thing we want to do is highlight our clip go to the effects panel on the right hand side and search for one called magnify. You should find it in the distort video effects folder. I'm going to click and drag this onto the clip and it should appear in the effects control panel for me to begin adjusting. So what this allows you to do is basically magnify a shape or object. So you can use a circle or square. There might be times where square is more fitting, but in most cases circle will be fine and you can adjust the X and Y position to adjust the center of the magnification. So let's put it right around his head and let's increase the size of it as well. Because I want that bounding box to be a little bit bigger so it fits right up on his head and gets the whole thing in there. But at this point there's still a very clear line of circle magnification and we don't really want to use it in that way. What I'm going to do is add a little bit of a feather. So just feather that edge until you kind of can't really tell where it begins or ends. Now the problem with doing this in Premiere Pro is that it's not going to be perfect. Like you can see there's some ghosting happening. If there were any distinctive objects or lines in the background that may be a problem. But what you can do is just adjust the X and Y center, kind of move things up and down until you have a decent manipulation. So if you keep tweaking the positioning, you can see the center, amount of magnification, size and feather you can pretty much keep the head on the shoulders straight. You can see I've got the head kind of squarely on those shoulders in a decent way. Now this can be very useful on clips just like this one where there's not much movement, his head is staying in the same general circle. If you really want to get a little bit more advanced with it, you could toggle these stopwatch icons to turn on animation keyframes for any one of these parameters. So for example, I could turn on keyframes for the center and then you could just slightly be adjusting things left to right as it goes on. But really, if you need to start getting more advanced, I would suggest just jumping over into After Effects where you can do a little bit more with tracking and positioning. Another cool thing you can do with this and kind of the original inspiration for this tutorial is create a big eye or bug eye or anime style eye effect by just doing the same exact thing. So I'll drag the magnify effect onto this eyeball clip. I'll move over to the center of that pupil about and I'll increase the size of this to cover up the old original eye and then I'll just increase the feathering to kind of blend it in to his skin again and another cool manipulation that you can do and play around with. And don't forget you can add and stack multiple magnifications onto the same clip. So if you had two eyes that you wanted to magnify, you could do that by just dragging another magnify and you got two separate circles to adjust. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it below. Consider subscribing to my channel if you're not yet for lots more content like this. And go follow me on social media at Justin Odisho, like Instagram and Twitter to stay up to date with me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.